Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The Foot Birthday loading screen is here and it is confirmed now that we will have Foot Birthday coming this Friday in FIBA 21. That is what the loading screen is for, of course. And it's finally nice to have something confirmed about Foot Birthday. We thought it was gonna be last Friday on FIFA's actual birthday and it's gonna be this Friday instead, uh, which is gonna be good. It's gonna be good and hopefully, we get some more updated loading screens throughout the week. If they're starting this early with loading screens, that makes me think that they're gonna possibly update it every single day tomorrow, or sorry, today on Wednesday, tomorrow on Thursday. We should get at least two updates to that loading screen, possibly first with the car design today. And that would be, in my opinion, what I think they would update the screen first with today on Wednesday. Probably won't change too much. They'll just add the, the card to it, which supposedly right now, this is the card. It's a little bit of a leak. They've been tossing it around on Twitter, but this is what the card supposedly looks like, kind of similar to the loading screen. Uh, I need to see it in full res before I really start to make an opinion on it, but not too sure how I, what I think about that. Uh, at the moment, but that is supposedly what is going around. Now, also, I want to say this, right? Because this is such a big promo and everybody on FIFA right now just feels starved of a promo in foot. So people are like thinking and, you know, there's a lot of leaks going around. And I'll say this, there's just so much uh, energy about and hype about foot birthday just building. Be careful with what leaks you see and what people are telling you about what is going to happen or who is in. Because of course, when we get a promo like this, Everybody likes to build the hype by putting up players that could potentially be in or telling you that there are leaks right now Making a prediction right and making concept cards is very different than making uh, or declaring something as a leak So just want to say that and put that out there uh, Because I don't really know if people have legit leaks because we are still Multiple days before this promo unless you work at EA. I feel like you really really don't know So just be careful with with what you see on some of that stuff as we know you can there's people that tweet out uh, quote-unquote leaks um, Five minutes before an SBC is going to be dropped and it's a completely different player So, you know Mbappe player of the month reference there if anybody understands that one But I just want to talk about what happened on the market yesterday with that loading screen was there panic and will it continue? There was a little bit right we did see a little bit of the market drop Honestly, I think the place where I saw the biggest market drop um, was two different places, right? SBC fodder was place number one. And number two were some of the moments icons. Now, some of those moments icons are very, very low at the moment, but a lot of stuff was actually lower pre 6 p.m. There was a lot of sell off pre 6 p.m. yesterday on Tuesday. Um, I remember one card specifically, this Usman Dembele freeze item, who is already low at about one point. Uh, oh, uh, 08, I think 1.08. He's 1.05 right now. There was one that went on bid for 1 million coins, basically 1 mil flat earlier today, which was a very, very, very low price. Even 1.05 is pretty low right now. So there, there was a lot of panic selling yesterday pre content drop on icons, on special cards specifically. And some of those bounced back a little bit, not a ton. Some of it bounced back, but you know, it made for some potential flipping scenarios, which I was able to just now flip a Campbell that I got at 600,000 coins flat. So that was a nice one. I got this uh, Bruno at low 330s, trying to flip him. And got a couple or stick that I'm flipping, couple random cards that just got low today and that I'm trying to flip at the moment and make some coins on the market. But there was a decent amount of sell off. Now, I don't think you saw crazy, crazy panic, right? And that I think we were looking to see if there was going to be panic. But as I look at prices across the game, I'm really not seeing panic. I'm just seeing a little bit more of a sell-off, right? And I honestly think that with that big loading screen out and with more speculation about foot birthday and cards that could be in and all that sort of stuff, you're probably going to see stuff continue to just trickle downwards, maybe fluctuate a little bit, but there's not going to be a lot of incentive for people to buy and try cards and to buy players off the market right now because of a big promo that is coming. So I think that will probably hold some people back from buying informs and special cards. So yes, you can still trade with some of these, but make sure you're really getting a good deal and the price is low. Like this David at 91K, that is low. He was like 110 earlier today, 91,000 coins is very cheap. But honestly, I expect, I think, the market to keep sliding downwards a little bit further, even into today on Wednesday, during in some areas for sure. I would continue to expect that because um, people are going to see the car design. Like right now, maybe some people that are more casuals, they see that loading screen and they have no idea what that means. They just see that and like, hmm, 
Uh, that looks to be like some sort of promo is coming, but what is that actually? Wow, 91K for this Jonathan David card is literally just sitting there. He was like a 110 earlier today, which it still looks like he is pretty rare. So you know what? I'm going to fluctuation trade this, pick up this Jonathan David. Center attacking mid position change as well, and I'm going to list that up for maybe... Let's say 105. We'll try 105 with the position change and the chemistry style. And uh, maybe we'll get a sale on that card in the next in the next little bit. Because it looks like for some reason he's dropping off right now. Anyways, that's a fluctuation trade. I feel super comp or semi-confident about that one. Um, you know, 91K up to 105. That's a nice little bit of profit right there. That's the kind of stuff you can be doing right now if you want to. Now, there's still a little bit of risk involved. Because, again, like I just mentioned, there's not a lot of people going out and buying but out of pack specials constantly fluctuate. And if you pick up a buyer, you find one buyer, boom, you make a nice flip. So that's kind of the ways that I would be trading right now. But then to speak about what kind of sell off we saw today, uh, we actually saw a pretty big sell off and the most panic, I would say, on high rated SBC fodder because what happened was there was no icon player pick released, no big time uh, SBC that were released that required high rated cards. So a lot of people said, oh no, foot birthday is confirmed. That means pack supply coming on Friday. So they sold off a lot of their high rated cards. I saw Matt's Hummels today who was out of packs with his man of the match card. By the way, all the man of the matches are in packs until today on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Then they go away. But this guy was out of packs today, and I should have bought more of them. I only bought one of them at 39,000 coins. He was panic sold from 50K all the way down to 40, and then went back up to 46 because he is out of packs. And yes, he still has demand because people are doing SBCs still because there's not a lot to do. So people are still crafting and doing some SBCs. So there's still, uh, there was a market movement right there today. Uh, that I took advantage of in a small portion, but it could have been more. Uh, and then, of course, you saw a decent amount, like Kimmich is 52K. Some of these 88 rateds dropped off a decent amount, I believe, from what they were earlier. 58K down to 52 for Kimmich. So some of this stuff, if you have high-rated fodder, it's kind of a tough predicament, right? Because you're like, yeah, I bought this stuff, hoping for SBCs. Like, people were buying De Bruyne over 100K, and now he's down at 98 uh, I guess you could kind of hold on if you wanted to until after rewards. Maybe some people get their coins and the stuff goes up. But again, you probably have marquee matchups uh, and rewards that will might supply the market a little bit. But I still, with a loading screen out, I don't expect that many people to open packs. Uh, but some people obviously will because they want to get coins to complete whatever SBCs that they're working on. But I do think that you'll probably still see a little bit of, of sell-off. I wouldn't call it panic, just a little bit of sell-off throughout this week. Now, one thing to watch today is the what-if cards that are getting upgraded, right? Le Melu is one of them. Mertens, um, where are the other guys at? Uh, Sancho is already upgraded. Jovic and Regulon. Those are the four cards that are getting upgraded today, guaranteed as a part of what-if upgrades for completing their objectives. 100% keep an eye on those. Regulon was like 217, I think earlier in the day on Tuesday, uh, and some of these guys have actually dropped off from where they were, and there's not as much hype. So just kind of be careful with these if you have any of them, because the hype is 200K for Regulon. The hype is dying a little bit on some of these cards. Now, maybe it rises up a little bit right before the upgrade, but I think people are starting to catch on that these cards really do not go up in price for their upgrades. They usually drop after the upgrade, um, and then maybe rebound back a little bit later, kind of like Mbabu has, but most of them continue to drop for until the upgrade. But again, what does foot birthday being confirmed mean for this game once again? Honestly, I just think that more people will go into pack save mode. Like if you're somebody who likes to trade on a low budget or you want to try to trade where, where it's hot right now, I would go out and uh, I know it's not the most glamorous thing, but trading with league SBCs, right? Because people are going to be stacking packs and completing these SBCs to get packs for the upcoming promo that is on Friday. That's the number one thing that I think people are gonna be doing in the SBC section right now. Yes, people are also gonna be stocking the rare golds and non-rare golds uh, because you have got a 81 plus double SBC and 82 to 88 and the 83 plus repeatable. People are gonna be stocking those and even completing those 81 plus SBCs that are out right now in order so that they can get their clubs ready for potential icon player picks or just to open more packs on Friday. So I don't think that gold rares and non rares have gone up at all, but now 100% since the promo was confirmed, um, yeah, it looks like these are going on bid for 300 to 350 coins. So they're not actually getting bought up. Now is still a 100% insane great time. These are basically a discard 
to stock your club with non-rares and for rares for when upgrade packs would come out during foot birthday. And of course, as we talk about leaks and stuff, as people start to mention leaks, like maybe Jonathan David is down right now because there's a leak going on, like he might get into the Future Stars promo, or sorry, the uh, Full Birthday promo or whatever. I hear a lot of talk about Ferlin Mendy, right? I don't really think you can link invest to the foot birthday players that will be coming out. And yes, there's gonna be a lot of people that probably start to buy. Let's say like we get a loading screen on Thursday and it shows uh, Brazil in the middle, smack dab in the middle with like one stat or, or something like that, or maybe a PSG badge um, or center attacking mid with Brazil. That's obviously gonna make people think about Neymar. One thing you're gonna see when we start getting hints and when we start hearing about players gonna be in this promo, you're gonna start seeing people going and buying the gold version that will be going out of packs because if it's a meta card, like a lot of these guys are, it's one investment that is very, very popular among people and trading groups in this game is they go buy the card that is gonna go out of packs. So like if Neymar looks to be on the loading screen, you're probably gonna see some people go and buy this Neymar because he'll be out of packs, right? So um, that's kind of one thing that I would watch out for. I don't really take get involved in any of that stuff, but that is one thing I do think you will see. Now, I wanna talk about the saved pack aspect of this too and fodder once again. Um, now, as we watch some of these special card prices maybe fluctuate and continue to head downward uh, into the weekend, um, you know, one thing you're really, really, really gonna wanna plan yourself for, right? I always talk about for big promos, making a plan for yourself. What do I wanna do with this promo? Do I wanna buy a team? Do I want to trade and make the most coins possible? Or do I wanna up open upgrade packs or just try out some of the new players? Obviously with the number of packs that are saved and what has been going on uh, related to SBC fodder being very, very inflated, that's why you saw a sell-off today because people are expecting with all the supply that's gonna come on Friday, they're expecting fodder to drop, which I think is a very realistic and probably is gonna happen um, expectation for the market on Friday when the foot birthday promo drops and all those packs are open. But I just wanna say that I know there's gonna to be tons of people looking to buy SBC fodder on Friday when the promo drops in the first couple hours on bid, on snipe, whatever it may be, because people are gonna see that, hey, it's dropped down and it's probably gonna go back up. Yes, I do think fodder will go back up at some point. I don't know though, since there's been so much hype about buying fodder recently, and we have so we still have so many SPCs that are out in the store. I am never somebody that really goes like insane, insanely deep in SPC fodder, but I know there's gonna be a lot of people that will be doing that on Friday. So just be careful when there's a lot of people that are going to invest in something like that. EA know that they have been making SPC fodder very, very um, lucrative for traders in this game right now. That's that's why they released the Foot Player Days promo to drop it all down. Well, then of course they release more SPCs and it goes right back up again. So I would just say if you're buying fodder this weekend, I don't like the huge play of going all in, uh, you know, just yet. I would I would wait and see, of course, what comes out more. So with the promo, we're probably going to get some big icon player, big SBC once again. But just a club stock in my mind is the way to go. I mean, if you see some of these cards like Jordi Alba's 33,000 coins, which is down 100%. If you see this guy back down at 30,000 coins, which is kind of like a low for him, like 86s and 30Ks and below is kind of where they went a couple weeks ago during foot player days right here, 30K. They were up at like 40. They went down to 30. Then they went back up to 40 this week, um, and now they're kind of coming back down again. If you see them back down in that buyable price, right? Pick a price for these cards where you say, hey, I want to buy them. This 86 rated or 86 rated cards, I want to buy at 30K and below because I know that they will at some point go to 40 to 42K. Pick a price, right? Don't pick a time. That's what I, my number one um, my number one advice on SBC fodder investing would be pr pick a price, not a time, because if you pick the price, you know that this Tony Cruz card is 55K right now. He spiked to 76K when the Icon Player Pick came out, and he was around 60,000 coins earlier this week. Right now, he's 55. You look at his lows, all right, you know, the low 40s on Xbox and mid 40s on PlayStation. That might be a decent buy for a Tony Cruz card like this. That's what I would do with this fodder if you wanna buy it this weekend with the promo. And I'm gonna talk about this a little bit more in the next couple of days, but I feel like this is one of the biggest areas right now where everybody is focusing in on, especially with informs, right? Of course, you wanna sell informs because EA, I feel like EA is gonna supply them somehow and they're probably gonna to continue to drop. There's gonna be a new team of the week today, which is, is gonna supply some informs on the market. 
But unless there's tradable pack supply today on Wednesday, there's not going to be many people that are opening packs anyway. So I don't know how the informs are going to work today on Wednesday with a new team of the week coming out. But I'm thinking that some people are expecting those informs to be a little bit cheaper than some of the cheapest rated ones on the market right now, which will drop some of that market. And again, um, I mean, one thing EA could do is drop one of those team of the week repeatable SBCs. Um, I don't really think doing best of team of the week would drop fodder prices for team of the week cards. But I think we are at the point when EA corrected fodder with foot player days, when they corrected the whole SBC fodder market, I feel like we're at a point where EA kind of needs to do that again, especially with informs. Uh, and that's why it would just make sense for them to drop some sort of uh, inform upgrade repeatable team of the week SBC soon. I know I mentioned that a couple times and it hasn't happened yet, but I still feel like that is something that could be on the horizon. But again, just for the market this week, you know, Thursday flipping, we'll talk a little bit here about that at the end. I think, you know, some stuff worked last week just because there was nobody that was investing. And I think people are going to be scared as well this week to invest. But a lot of times what we've seen is um, when you're when people are scared to invest, that's honestly when you see some of the best movements and some of the best profits is when people are scared to invest. So maybe, maybe just look around the market this tonight on Wednesday. If you see cards drop a little bit more, think about some stuff that is very meta that is very popular that people are always buying on thursdays that always seems to go up like this bomba inform right use flip into your advantage go check out some of these informs uh that fluctuate every single week if you go take a look at this guy's card his movements are actually kind of wild this bomba is i guess i won't find out because uh it's kicking me out but let's do a quick little search here on bomba not the 87 i want the 84 uh, 84 rated team of the week Bomba is 66,000 coins. But if you take a look at his graph, boom, he went from 55 to 71 last week. You know, it was 50, 58 K boom. He went to high 60s. So right now he's still in the high to mid sixties. So that may not be the best Thursday flip, but find a card like this that has had movements similar to this Bomba in the last two weeks, right? You go through here on your, uh, your all team of the weeks page. You scroll down, you click on a couple random team of the weeks and just look at the players that are inside there. Like this Cancelo is a very meta card. You know, this Delaney links to a lot of the new cards and the SBCs and the um, players that we've had recently. This guy goes from like 90 to 100K. That's not big profit, but if you want to try to do a little bit of Thursday flipping, that's where you could look. And maybe on some meta golds as well. Uh, you, you take a look at a guy, maybe like a Bamiang, if he moves around every single week. How much does Van Dyke move? 118K right now. 21 million games played uh he really doesn't move much he goes from like 109 you know what last week he went from 109 to 120 so that's not the best flip ever but if you got some van dykes at 105 on bid sold them at 120 to 123 that'd be a decent thursday flip so there are some of like the gold cards and some of the specials that i think could be flippable this week because there's ultimately going to be a little bit of demand after rewards on Thursday. Not a lot because people get coins, people are saving their packs, but there will be, will be a little bit of demand in my opinion. But until we get to Friday, and I think it's probably just gonna be a slow little bit of drop off. If there is any sort of panic, it might be because of cards that are on the loading screen. If there's any cards that are made clear to us that it could be X player, Y player, that would cause a lot of panic. Um, that's something I do think we will see. Now I'm gonna talk about how we can maybe make some more coins with this promo tomorrow um, as we maybe learn a little bit more about it. And of course, talking about that first hour supply and what that is gonna mean for the market on Friday, because it's gonna be crazy, right? The first couple hours on Friday, on promo Friday is gonna be pretty nuts. So anyways, if you guys are stacking packs, foot drafts are kind of a way to do that right now. League SBCs, that's a way if you want to try to get some packs, you can 100% do it. Um, just hop on open bids. That's my 100. You can see like on my transfer list, I'm looking at a lot of open bids. Like I missed this Renato. Uh, I missed this Zanetti for 306 in open bid because I would have been able to sell this at the 330 to 340 range. That would have been a nice bit of profit. Um, I missed a Van Anholt rule breaker at like 116. I think it's right here. That sells for like uh, 130,000 coins. So open bids are 100% the way to go. Man of the matches again, Orsic, Pogba, Vasquez, those guys go out of packs today and these guys are very rare so I, I, these are kind of interesting plays to me the pogba position change i don't know how much demand there is the orsage card doesn't have very good links but as a super sub maybe lucas vasquez possibly um just kind of keep an eye on those cards because they're very rare because there were not a lot of packs opened while those guys were in the game so 
that's kind of my thoughts on the market right now, talking about what could happen over the next couple of days and just uh, talking about this market in FIFA. So it's going to be interesting to see what they update the loading screen with. I'm just expecting the card design and that's about it. I don't expect a big Wednesday of content, maybe one other like player SBC. I'm really not sure what they're going to do. No UCL marquee matchups because of course there's no Champions League games this week. And it'll be interesting to see who gets in team of the week today as well to see if we have any headliner upgrades and stuff like that. Uh, but again, with the market the way that it is, one last word on the um, the what if cards, I would probably take the safe cash and, uh, you know, Regulon was at 200K flat when I just looked. That's really low. But uh, I, I don't even know if this guy goes back to like 215. Maybe this morning on Wednesday, pre-content drop for a little bit, but there's so many listed overnight at 210. Um, that's there's just a lot of investors that were involved here. And if you saw the biggest drops on cards yesterday after the loading screen, the biggest drops on the market were were where there were the most investors, right? So that is one thing uh, that we did see today. One quick word as well. I know I keep saying one quick word, but the Chicharito SBC, I want to make a quick comment about this because this is coming in at 75,000 coins. This card is not very meta for the three star, three star. The stats look good, but the three star, three star and the work rates do not. This is basically some almost the same price as 89 rated fodder right now. Informs, if you have an untradeable inform in your club, do this SBC because it's going to be like 50k if informs weren't so inflated. This would be like a 50k SBC. Uh, and honestly, if you want to wait six days, who knows what could happen in six days? We could have a team leak SBC that would drop SBC fodder in the inform range. And with all the packs applied, this SBC might end up being 55 to 60,000 coins on the weekend. So if that is the case and you don't have the stuff to do in your club from scratch, or if you're going to be opening uh, upgrade packs on the weekend when full birthday comes out, that will be a fantastic time to do this Chicharito SBC for fodder or just for fun. Of course, he links to the Santos, Vela, all that kind of stuff. And then of course, we did get the brand new MLS 2 uh, foundations with um, kind of that Giao card being the only like good looking one out of all those. I don't know about Aro and Wanyama. Of course, Wanyama Spurs, uh, old Spurs, Spurs player. I almost said old fashioned. That's not old fashioned. He was there like what three years ago. Anyways, uh, it was just kind of a the the loading screen was 100% the biggest part of our content yesterday on Wednesday. I expect it to be probably the updated loading screen will be the biggest part of our content today as well as the team of the week on FIFA 21. So if you enjoyed this video, hit a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.